Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. And today I'm bringing you the Kaiser Cutlery KI4473 by John Gray, or affectionately known as the GPB1, which stands for Gray's Pocket Brute One. It's a collaboration with knife maker John Gray and Kaiser. Uh, you're seeing me going through the motions here, opening up. Uh, here's the pouch that it comes with, the, the Digi Camo pouch. Um, I've had this one for quite some time, so this is kind of like an unboxing and first impressions, even though I've had it for so long. And i got to give apologies to my buddy over at White Mountain Knives. Uh, he sent me this one to review. Obviously, it's just a loner, so I'm not going to be doing any cutting tests with it. But I've been so busy. I wanted to show it to you, so I want to throw it on camera. We'll go over it, we'll look it over, tell you some of my impressions of it, uh, because I've had this one way too long. It's got to go back. So let's take a look at the uh, the specs while I read them to you. The blade length is 3.5 inches or 89 millimeters. The closed length is 5.0 inches or 127 millimeters. Overall length, 8.5 inches, 216 millimeters. Blade material, S35VN stainless steel. Um, the hardness is a 58 to 60 on a, on a hardness rating. Drop point blade, hollow grind, stone wash. A 64I4V um, titanium handle, frame lock. The pivot assembly has a, a ball bearing pivot assembly. The pocket clip, titanium. And the weight is 7.0 ounces and like i mentioned earlier the designer is john gray so let's take a look at the knife so here's the uh stone wash blade very nice there's the the pivot pivot screw um, the titanium scales has a rounded effect, like another Kaiser that I reviewed. I just can't, it doesn't come to me right now which one it was, but it, I like the feel in the hand. It has a nice rounded effect. Um, the um, titanium pocket clip. And I got to say, what drew me to this knife, I love that Phillips head uh, screw. It's, it's just really cool looking, something you don't, you don't see in other knives. Smooth opening. Uh, the, uh, the beveled... Um, Thumb screws uh, on both sides. There it is again. I'm showing you the nice, the titanium scales. It's definitely a beefy folder. You can definitely feel this one in your hands or, or if it's in your pockets, you're not going to say to yourself, oh, I'm not sure if I have the knife on me. But trust me, you'll know you have it on you. There you can see it's, uh, it's perfectly centered. As I mentioned earlier, opens smoothly. Has a uh, steel lock bar insert, which is replaceable as well. And it's a, let's say about 50% lockup. A little side view of the blade stock. Nice and thick in the beginning. Comes to a little thinner, thinner part at the end. I'm trying to see if I can get that to focus for you. There's the, uh, the barrel standoffs. Really, really nice. Polished. One of my favorite uh, 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 backspacers is the standoffs. Nice size uh, uh, lanyard hole. Again, showing you the the beveled thumb studs. Really nicely done. Opens pretty much with ease. There it is in my hand. Definitely beefy. The GPB1. I'm going to put it up and compare it against... Uh, Another knife that you will probably know, something I reviewed not too long ago. It's the CRKT Pilar by Jesper Voxnez. Fantastic knife. Never did a follow-up video on this, but I did a preview, and it's just a great knife. I really should follow up on this one. So let's bust out the scale. I read you the stats before, but you know I like to uh, like to measure it up anyway, just to see. Let's put it on there. 197.1 grams. Let's see what it's in, in ounces. 
6.95 ounces. It's definitely uh, not a light folder, to say the least. You're definitely going to want something beefy if you want to look into this. Let me put it against my famous dollar. I haven't busted out the dollar in a while. As you can see, towers over the dollar. I forgot my ruler, so we're just going to have to go with the dollar for this one. So sorry about that. So as of this recording, this uh, knife can be had for pretty much $220 all day. I don't know what the, what the, the price was when it first came out because this knife's been out for a little while. And like I said, what drew me to it was the, you know, the unique shape, the look of it. But I'm not saying I don't, I dislike it because I'm always preaching how much I like uh, Kaiser knives. I really like this knife. And I'm not saying that $220, it's not worth $220. It's just that for me, my personal taste, uh, there's a lot of knives out there that Kaiser makes um, that are in the $200 range that I could see myself wanting maybe a little bit more than this one. Though this one is a nice knife. It just wouldn't be my first Kaiser choice. That's all. So let me know what you think of this one. Uh, how you, you know how you like this one compared to other Kaisers, or uh, is this something that you would you would think you would get? Um, like I said, the only really negative I would say. I mean, we haven't cut with it, but I'm sure with Kaiser, it's probably very sharp. Uh, is the is the weight? You know, it, it it is seven ounces. It's a little hefty in your pocket. But if you if you're a fan of my channel, you've seen a lot of my videos, so you know that I have some heavy ones. But most of my knives are uh, much lighter than seven ounces or six point whatever whatever we said earlier. So there you have it. It's the Kaiser John Gray GPG one or the Kaiser Ki four four seven three. $220 pretty much everywhere. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Take care. God bless. And have yourself a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed my video. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks everyone. Take care.